What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is again another vlog. So far today what I did was I woke up. It's a super like ugly rainy day in Vegas today. Not the best weather at all. It's supposed to rain literally all day. Now I want to set up my Christmas tree because I wanted to actually set that up before I left to go up north for Thanksgiving and I just got way too busy with packing and everything else going on. So we're gonna set up the Christmas tree right now. I'm thinking I wanna put it in this corner right over here. And the main reason is I don't want it to be right at my door when I walk in and I do have family coming to visit for Christmas and I don't want people to have to like walk around the bed and have nowhere to really sit when we you know, open presents and open gifts and all that stuff. So I think right there will be the best. But first I gotta get the tree out of this actual chaos here. So this is the mess. This is like my storage closet where I just kind of throw all my boxes in. And of course the tree is all the way at the bottom. So I have the tree and then I've got the bulbs and stuff here. So let's get all this out, get the tree set up and continue the day. Oh, it's Christmas time I feel sad I can't help it Got you on my mind I don't know how to call this Because it's Christmas time And I need you Pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. But anyways, I'm getting ready to hit the gym here shortly. I'll probably go in about an hour or so. We'll have some food before, probably in the next 30 minutes or so. I like to eat about an hour before I go to the gym, but I just wanted to talk really quick about just the quote that I have on the board that we wrote for the day. You know, it says, success and happiness is an inside job. Things and people will not fill your void. It's your job. And I just wanna talk about that for a little bit in this video because this is something that I've learned over the last couple of years. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I am this millionaire success who has a Lamborghini and a big house and everything that society would tell you is success because quite frankly, I don't and I've never had those things. But what I have had is, you know, the nice apartment. I've lived in LA, I've lived here, I've had an Audi, you know, I've had nice things in the past and I sold a lot of those things in order to pay off certain things to get myself into a better position, but I just want to talk about that because a lot of a lot of society, you know, they tell you that cars are going to make you happy and houses are going to make you happy and the newest iPhone is going to make you happy and all these things are going to make you happy and at the end of the day what I will tell you is they do temporarily but over time it just becomes this this race of wanting more like when i got my audi i felt like i had a nice car but i still wanted to get a nicer car i was like ah he's got an a6 i'd like the a6 or i like the a8 or the r8 or whatever that's really what i meant by that quote today is i know for me after everything happened with my dad, I started to seek a lot of external pleasure. I started to seek the body. I started to do bodybuilding at that point. And, and I felt great, you know, I did. But I still had a void inside. And, and when I had that void, I thought moving up in, you know, my, co my company and my job was gonna help, you know, but the second that I got there, I wanted more and then the car that I had was no longer good enough, so I had to get the nicer car. And I was always seeking fulfillment in these external things like a job, a car, a, you know, a body. And what I've come to realize over the last two years on this journey that I've been on of moving out here to the West Coast is 
all that stuff is temporary. It's not going to solve the internal problem. It'll mask it and it'll cover it the same way that, you know, somebody who has a lot of pain may hide their depression and, and sadness with alcohol or drugs. Simply, I was hiding it with bodybuilding and with cars and with making myself appear that everything was good and working on the perception of what everybody perceived me as and they saw me as this successful, strong, fit guy. And while it looked that way, I had a lot of void on the inside. I wasn't truly fulfilled on the inside. And I don't know exactly what I was trying to fill. Not yet, at least. You know, I know that I had a lot of a lot of things going on in my mind, but I don't know, just over the last couple of years not seeking all of those things, I felt more peace. I can wake up every day and I can do the things that I actually want to do, whether that's vlogging, whether that's posting on Instagram, whatever it may be. I can do the things that I actually want to do versus being obligated to do the things you know that maybe I have to do because I got myself in a position where you know I now owe future labor for something and I guess just the whole point of this video is Get down to the truth. Like, what is it that you truly want? Because if you're living for other people, you're living for validation of others, it's a never-ending cycle. Because you start getting more attention, and you start getting more judgment, and you're going to get people who like this person and people who don't like this person the same way that if you're just yourself you're going to get people who like you and people who don't like you and with all of that attention comes like i said more judgment and now it becomes this competition and now you have to always one-up yourself to show everybody that you're still moving up and it's just a vicious cycle so i don't know i just wanted to talk about that today and just get this thought off of my chest let me know down in the comments. You know, do you relate to this? What's, what's something that you're taking away from this? What's a lesson that you've learned maybe in your life that can relate to this? And let us know down in the comments if you're comfortable. If not, that's cool too. I know it's not, it's not always easy to share, you know, share our secrets out to the world. Just like this isn't easy, but when you can get it out there, when you can get it off your chest, when you can share your experience to help others, um, it's, it's very freeing and it feels good. So that's why I'm doing this. But anyways, let's go to the gym here today. Let's see, when I was last in Connecticut, I did a shoulder and a chest workout. So today let's do a back workout. For now, let's get the workout done.
right, so last but not least in this video, guys, I actually went to the strip with my buddy Richard who was in town. He was visiting from Santa Barbara. He's actually somebody that I met back in college, which was really cool. We ran into each other when I lived in LA and now he's considering moving out here to Vegas. So we actually went to the strip. He wanted to visit some friends who work in some restaurants doing, doing the wine thing and that's kind of his thing is the wine thing. So we went there and did that, but I was able to get some really cool footage of the strip at night. It's super like foggy super gloomy and rainy, which is really cool because obviously that doesn't happen very much here in Vegas. And I'm just gonna do a little ending sequence here that you guys can enjoy, put together a nice little edit. It'll be very quick, 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 quick edit. And that's gonna wrap up this video. This one went super long due to the talk in the beginning, but I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up before you head out. And if you're not yet subscribed and if you've made it this far in the video, be sure to hit subscribe down below. That way you actually see all the videos that I post in your feed. And if you wanna get notifications, turn on the notifications. If not, no big deal. I'm not gonna tell you to put them on because personally, I don't want notifications myself. So I don't blame you if you don't want notifications either. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little montage here that I'm gonna to put together. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.